Once again, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard American Airlines Flight 1395 with service to Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. Your flight crew for this flight is Captain Brent Bellenberg. He's assisted by First Officer David Jung. They will ask me that our flying time from Minneapolis, St. Paul to Dallas Fort Worth will be two hours, two minutes at a cruising altitude of 36,000 feet. Currently, the weather conditions in Dallas Fort Worth are probably cloudy skies with a temperature of 78 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 26 degrees Celsius. Now, if you will, please direct your attention to the flight attendants and the islands to demonstrate the safety features of this Boeing 737 aircraft. Your attention, please. travel with American Airlines, we're glad you're here. This flight is on its way to one of our many destinations across the globe, made possible by our dedicated team members who all do it for one reason, you. That's why your safety and well-being are so important to us. Let's go through some in-flight instructions so we can get you safely on your way. First, make sure your seat is upright, all larger electronic devices are put away, and your tray table is stowed. Seatback device holders must be stowed for taxi, takeoff, and landing. If you have a carry-on, place it all the way under the seat in front of you. Larger carry-on luggage goes in the overhead bin. If you have a handheld device, please switch it to airplane mode now. If your electronic device falls into your seat, please do not adjust your seat and contact a crew member for assistance. If you are seated at an overwing exit, your window shade must remain open for taxi, takeoff, and landing. If you haven't already fastened your seatbelt, insert the metal end into the buckle and pull the strap so it's tight across your hips. To open your seatbelt, lift the top of the buckle. And remember, seatbelts should be fastened whenever you're seated in case of unexpected turbulence. U.S. law requires compliance with lighted and posted signs and crew member instructions. All flights are non-smoking, including e-cigarettes. It's against the law to tamper with, disable, or destroy the lavatory smoke detectors. Doing so may result in a fine. The safety card in your seat pocket explains the safety features of this airplane, including the location and operation of exits and flotation devices. But of course, don't hesitate to ask our crew members questions. This airplane has two exit doors in the front, four window exits over the wings, and two exit doors in the back. Take a moment to locate the nearest one, and keep in mind, it may be behind you. All door exits have evacuation slides to use in the unlikely event of an emergency. When directed to exit, jump onto the slide and move away from the airplane. In a water evacuation, life rafts are located in marked ceiling compartments. All exits are clearly marked with signs and opening instructions. If needed, exit path lighting in the aisle will illuminate near the floor to guide you to an exit indicated by signs and lights. In the event of an emergency, leave all belongings and proceed to the closest usable exit. If needed, oxygen masks will drop from an overhead compartment. Remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and pull the mask down to start the flow of oxygen. Place the mask over your nose and mouth and put the elastic band over your head. Pull the straps to tighten and breathe normally. You should always put on your mask before helping others. Oxygen is flowing even if the bag does not inflate. Life vests are located under, next to, or between your seat. For help locating them, see your safety card. To remove the vest, pull the tab or compartment handle to break the seal. If equipped with an elastic harness, remove the harness before opening the pouch. Take the vest out as shown on the safety card and put it over your head. Wrap the strap around your waist, attach the buckle, and pull tight. Once outside, pull the tab to inflate your vest or blow into the red tube. In the water, a light on your vest will automatically illuminate. If necessary, an infant life vest will be distributed by a crew member. See your safety card for more details on how to use it. We will be dimming the cabin lights for takeoff. Individual reading light controls are at each seat. It's our honor to care for you on your journey. If you have any questions, please refer to your safety card or ask any of the crew members as they do their final cabin check. And as always, let us know if there's anything we can do to make your time with us more enjoyable.
for watching our safety demonstration. The federal mask mandate remains in place for air travel under the recently updated CDC guidance for vaccinated and unvaccinated travelers. As a result, we continue to have additional safety measures due to COVID-19. In the event oxygen masks drop from overhead compartment, remove your face mask before placing your oxygen mask over your nose and mouth. You must wear a face mask over your nose and mouth and make sure it's secured under your chin or neck for the duration of the flight. You may briefly lift or lower your face mask while eating or drinking. Once again, you may briefly lift or lower your face mask while eating or drinking. Please keep your face mask on. If you plan to sleep, please make sure your face mask is secured. We'll be coming through the aisle now for our, our safety and face mask checks. We thank you for your attention and now more than ever, we appreciate you choosing American Airlines.